Back when I was a DSLR photographer, one thing I always loved shooting was silhouettes. I've never been a person to shoot boring photos and silhouettes just have a magical, mystical element to them. And I always loved putting my Canon 6D into manual mode and getting this stylized effect. As I traveled around in my early 20s to places like Vietnam, Israel, Fiji, Switzerland, I found these excellent opportunities to test out my photographic skill and try this silhouette style. Well, as you can guess, the whole DSLR photographer thing didn't quite turn out. However, I think a lot of people don't realize that almost everything that applies to DSLR photos also applies to 360. You can do stylized effects like the ones I did on my Canon 6D with with a 360 camera. All you need is a camera with manual exposure. The Theta V, the Theta S, the Xiaomi Mi Sphere, and the Insta 361 all do manual exposure. So I thought it would be fun to teach you guys how to make this awesome silhouette effect using your 360 camera, but you will need one with manual exposure. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. So shooting manually is something that photographers would normally do with a DSLR camera when you go out of auto mode and you get really specific control over your settings. Things like ISO, aperture, shutter speed, and you know what? The exact same thing applies to 360 cameras. And when you have something like the Theta V and a few other cameras like the Xiaomi and the Insta 361 to an extent, you can then take specific control over your camera and get specific effects when you have strong lighting conditions that will do actually a much better job than auto exposure. Look, I use auto exposure the vast majority of the time, but I would say there are 10% of situations where I will want to get out my manual exposure. Okay, so I've just switched into manual mode, which you can find in the bottom right hand corner. And you can see already my exposure looks overblown. That's because the exposure is too bright. So I wanna find something that is gonna be specific to these lighting conditions because the sun is harsh, I need to lower that down. And something I'm thinking of trying is a cool feature of the Theta V is you can do a really, really fast shutter speed. This essentially means you can capture motion that is moving really fast and you can capture it in midair. Um, a lot of cameras would blur if you leave it to auto exposure and that is a, one of the, the big advantages of shooting manually and taking control of your shutter speed. So I want to try a much faster shutter speed and there already I'm getting live feedback um, on the changes I've made. I'm at, at one two thousandth of a second so I can essentially go like this, I can make a fast movement, a bird could fly by the camera and it'll capture the bird crystal clear. This is really good for if you're moving, there's nothing worse than motion blur and 360 cameras, they just get motion blur. When you're walking and taking photos, you really do have to stop and let auto exposure um, capture you sharply, which you can't always rely on. Also, this is good for shooting specific effects. Because we're at sundown now, I wanna go for a silhouetted planet in this photo. And this is a perfect way to do that because it means I can choose the exact exposure that will bring out the, the skyline the best. And already, I'm really liking the details I'm seeing. I'm even gonna go lower because I wanna see if I can get myself in silhouette. Because I might turn this into a tiny planet, which, is mostly black, but you can see my silhouette on the horizon. So, I've manually gone down to one four thousandth of a second, and I'm going to frame it. Firstly, I'll try myself. That is looking excellent already. Have a look at that. Oh my God, that looks so cool. Um, okay, and then I'm going to also um, put on the self timer. Done. Look at that silhouette. As you can see from the camera that's filming me now, it's actually really bright out, but I'm able to get this silhouette effect while the sun is still out. This is one of the advantages of shooting manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that button. Now it's a five second countdown. And... Great. And I'll take one more, I'll change the camera position again. And I'll change my position. I always shoot a few photos each time I set up. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to get my phone back out and download this photo. Something I love about the Theta B is it downloads in two seconds. Oh, already, that looks stunning. Holy crap, that looks good. I already know that's going to be an amazing planet. So this is one awesome advantage to shooting manually. You can do stylized effects like this when the lighting conditions aren't perfect. 
necessarily to that effect. Another advantage of shooting manually is you can do the opposite effect. So you can change your shutter speed, so instead of capturing fast motion like that, um, where everything is darker, you can slow it down so you're at night time and you, can't, you can literally see nothing out. It's pitch black and if you go down to 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, the, the camera then captures a whole photo over the course of 20 seconds and it lights everything up. It captures all the ambient light within those 20 seconds and it lights up a completely dark scene. Take a look at this photo I shot with the Theta V of this question mark because it looks absolutely awesome. It's one of my first nighttime shots I shot with it. And again, this is in manual. So if you want really stylized specific effects with the Theta V, I would strongly suggest shooting manually because there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do and also having control over your ISO. You always want your ISO as low as possible because more ISO means more noise and nobody likes noise, do they? It's not nice in your blacks, looks bad at nighttime. So the lower you can get your ISO, the better. I'll also add that you can only really do this for photos and get that much control. With video, you start getting other issues. You should only shoot manually with video by changing a few tiny parameters, not a lot like I've just done here. And one really cool thing about the Theta V also is that it now shoots one, tw one two twenty-five thousandth of a second. Wait, is that one? Yeah, one twenty-five thousandth of a second, which means you could essentially point this right at the sun, as you can see on my phone right now, and Look at that, you can, you can still see the sun. Look, the rest of the photo is completely black, but it's actually exposing the sun perfectly. And you're getting all the details on the horizon there. So this is just a really cool feature um, for those really, really bright days. I can't imagine you ever going to 1 25,000th of a second, but it's cool. I, I don't know of any other 360 cameras that can do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a look at that, the sun is looking awesome. The rest is pitch black. Yep, it's probably unusable. But it's cool to know that, that you can do that. So learning manual exposure is something you might want to consider. Once you really have a good understanding of your 360 camera, you've used auto exposure enough and you're ready to start trying some stylized effects. So if you're interested in shooting tiny planets like I got in my end result here, I'd strongly suggest picking up a copy of my ebook. It's called Life in 360, a beginner's guide to tiny planet photography. I've just released the second edition after a long, long time rewriting it, and it's gonna teach you guys everything you need to know about getting really cool effects like this and basically everything you see in my Instagram profile. I strongly recommend you check it out. Also, I'll put a link to the Theta V down in the description to where you can find it on Amazon, as well as this cool selfie stick if you want, I'll put a link to that as well. All right guys, until next time, keep capturing your world in 360. This has been Ben, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about manual exposure. Do you shoot manually? What kind of stuff do you enjoy shooting manually? Leave a comment down below. Also, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I'm at Ben Claremont. All right guys, keep capturing your world in 360, and I'll see you in the next video.